Hi, I'm Joel Damiana from DAS Audio's engineering department and head of technical support for live and touring installations. Today, we'll talk about DASnet, DAS Audio's remote control and monitoring tool, discussing basic concepts in this video and giving practical examples in later videos. DASnet is a software that allows monitoring and remote control of DAS-powered sound systems and processors. DASnet is a huge help for engineers, particularly when setting up a large number of units in both permanent installations and at live events. In permanent installations, such as a club, for example, we can individually monitor and manage different areas, a bar, the VIP area, or the main floor. At a festival, where there are dozens of DAS units rigged in different systems, we can work with them separately. Main PA, the side fills, the out fills or the center fills. On stage, we can work with individual monitors and the side fills. This monitoring system also has a preventive aspect. We can tell if a unit is too hot or if it's reaching its limits and take action. Control and monitoring is handled by DASnet software, which can be downloaded from our website. The computer communicates with other devices over a local network using the RS-485 protocol. To connect the computer to the rack, we use this converter, a USB to RS-485 network adapter. For this connection, we can use a standard XLR, the same ones we use to wire microphones. It's very important that we connect to DASnet in on the patch panel first. Now let's talk about the DASnet patch panel rack. Here we distribute the data signal as well as the audio signal and power. We can make up to three DASnet sends in each patch panel. If we want to keep all the sends within the same DASnet network, we have to make a loop through from the DASnet output to the DASnet input in the second zone. If we want to do the same with the audio, we have to insert the audio signal in audio in and go from zone 1 to zone 2 via another patch cable. To connect to the unit, we use this cable. It has a power con, which carries power, and an ethercon, which carries both data and audio signals. It's very important that we use this cable, recommended by DAS Audio, because it incorporates a triple shield that prevents interference between the data signal and the audio signal. Finally, we connect the unit. First the Ethercon, which sends both data and audio. And finally, the Powercon. DAS models currently compatible with DASnet are Aero 40A, LX218A, DSP2060A, DSP4080 and optionally the Road Series monitors. That's it for now. In the next video, we'll give you practical examples of how to work with DASnet. Stay tuned to the DAS channel on YouTube. Thank you.